Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back. So today we're going to be unboxing the Gigabyte Gaming OC 4080. And we're going to be looking at it at the specifications. We're also going to be testing it. We're going to look at the sound, the different BIOS options. But we're first going to start off with unboxing. So let's just go. I don't want to edit too much of the video because I like to show things as they are. No color grading, no nothing, just normal video with real content. So let's just take a quick look at the box. Now this is one with RGB and we're gonna be installing it in the height Y60 case. So we can actually look at the fan blades looking like this. So here's a quick look at the box. Very interesting. Open it. So we get our usual books. Nice. Toss those to the side. And right off the bat, we get our three power connector. Let's just look at it. This is three PCIe to a 16 pin like that. Little NVIDIA logo. Let's see if we can get some focus on there. Hello. There we go. NVIDIA. And what more do we get? We get some kind of a smart bracket here, which prevents GPU sag. I'm not going to be installing it as minus play sideways, so it doesn't sag anyway. Get a whole bunch of screws. Nice. And then we get the Gigabyte Gaming OC 4080. So let's just place the box to the side. There we go. And here we have the 4080. This packaging is a little different. Yeah, it's actually, we have to open it like this. I actually like this better if you open it like this. Jesus, my man, this is some unit. Look at that. So let's just take a look at it. So we have the fans. You can see the RGB rings are already in there. If you look very closely, it's the white lid. There's a lot of plastic on there. So here, I think. Yeah, over here, it's very, a little hard to see. We have a very, very tiny switch. It says BIOS OC and silent. So we're gonna be testing both. It's standard set to OC, apparently. The 16 pin connector. The front, let's pull the little plugs out. I think they're all gold plated. Yep, they're gold plated, which is nice. Get the sticker off there. So we're back. I <laughs> finally managed to snatch a little part of the plastic. And the back plate, it feels cold. I think it's like metal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's metal. So let's remove the plastic here. That is one unit, man. Nice. Gigabyte. Looks pretty good. The cables. So let's give it a spin, shall we? So we're just getting ready to install it and I just noticed how freaking huge it is. This is a Inno 3D iChill 3X4090 and this 4080 is actually bigger. 
it's like wider and not shorter. <laughs> but what a unit, this thing is huge. I kind of expect pretty great cooling from this. So this is gonna be a first boot up, see what it looks like. That looks freaking dope. Uh, I kid you not, this thing is pretty hard to install. It's just that chunky. I mean, look at the case from, from above. It's, it just barely fits in there. That RGB is so cool. Then it turns off. So now that we have everything installed, let's go play some Cyberpunk. See how that game does. So we're gonna start off native with high settings. We'll turn on ray tracing. Also turn on DLSS. So this is native 1440p ultra settings. And well, it's doing a good job. Let's lower the sound a little bit. It's still very loud. There we go. I think it's better. So. 1440p, high settings. Let's see how good it is with DLSS. So let's just walk a bit over here. It's very playable. This game is extremely heavy. So let's turn on GL. Let's put that just on quality. So that's some pretty good performance we gained there. And it still looks really sharp. And my goodness, look at the temperatures on that GPU. That, that is incredible. The temperatures on that GPU are insane. The Gigabyte Gaming OC, that, that big chunk, big chunker block on there, it just really does its job. 55 degrees, are you kidding me? 56, that is insane. There's actually being a decent amount of wattage being like pushed through there. I mean, it's not like 400 watts or, or something, but that's still really good temperatures for the card. So let's put on, turn on DLSS, see what that does. Or sorry, ray tracing, I mean, psycho. So the ray tracing performance is excellent. With DLSS, you can actually pull it up to around 100, wa 100 FPS. Wattage doesn't change that much. Let's turn off DLSS. So this is native ray tracing. That is insane. I did not expect that. I thought I was going to take a massive hit. Oh, what are you what are you drinking there? Can of beer. I mean, just look at the temperatures. That is just so good. Now it's pulling a bit, a little bit more wattage, so temperatures go up. I expect it to hover somewhere around 60-ish. Now I have an open ten test bench, so maybe 60 to 65 would be a more reasonable target in a closed case. Nonetheless, that is really good performance. Now we're going to tinker a bit around with the fan speed settings, show you what it sounds like. So we're going to start off with 60%. And that's barely audible. 80. Ninety. One hundred percent. But you're most likely not going to use that. And we also have different color modes for the RGB. This is static. We have pulse. Well, pulse does what pulse does. It pulses a bit. 
you flash, you can flashbang yourself when you put this to white, bright white. Deflash, just double flashes. You have color cycle. I like this one. Color shift. Gradient. I mean, these rings, they, they do look really good. Wave. Dazzle, this is the one it's, it's like preset. And then we have intelligent and it's pretty much, I tried this one, it just stays on green, it doesn't really change. And then we have off, but we're not gonna show that. So that was it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more games like this, benchmarks, subscribe to the channel. I'm currently playing Forza Horizon. I am going to include in a benchmark video let me show you. Hello, go back. There we go. So this is Forza Horizon 5. And just look at that temperature. That is incredible. It's just incredible. That was it. Thanks for watching. Leave the video a like. Subscribe and share with a friend. And maybe say something uh, pinata below. Say pinata. Okay. Thanks for watching. Peace.